For air, we had U P air is equal to 1 over mu naught square root, mu naught epsilon naught. And then for Teflon, we have to scale by the relative permittivity. So we'd have mu naught, epsilon naught, epsilon r, and epsilon r is equal to 2.1. So the only difference is the square root of the relative permittivity in the denominator. In other words, the wave speed in Teflon is 1 over square root of 2.1, or about 70 percent of the speed of light. So it's a little bit slower than the speed of light. Now remember we saw earlier that many aircraft wires are bound together in bundles, often with several hundred wires in a bundle. We saw this earlier in the image shown again here. There's a common ground shared between the wires, and so all the wires represent two conductor transmission lines. A problem, however, is that this scenario is not the same as a simple, perfectly straight coaxial cable with only two conductors and air in between and all around. For example, a conductor on the outside of this bundle of 36 wires, shown here, has more air around it than a conductor on the inside of the bundle. So while a signal traveling along a conductor on the outside of this bundle might propagate at 60 percent of the speed of light, a signal on a conductor towards the inside of this bundle would propagate more slowly at 57 percent of the speed of light. This will be important later when we come up our, with our uh, test system. A further consideration is that the location of a specific wire within the bundle is not precisely controlled. Wires may meander through the bundle, sometimes being near the center, other times near the surface. This variation is unavoidable and unpredictable, and this should be taken into account when we study both the normal operation of a transmission line as well as when there might be something wrong with a transmission line. In other words, it takes a dis different amount of time to propagate down the transmission line than what we might predict on a nice clean scenario, nicely behaved scenario when we're analyzing it. As a side note, similar errors are observed if you move a wire around during or between measurements that you might take in the lab. So keep this in mind while you take measurements in the lab section of this course.